we look at open circulatory system in insects and in particular using the cockroach we will look at the cockroach as an example of an insect that has an open circulatory system now in the cockroach the heart is tubular and is located just above the elementary canal so this is a tubular heart and in fact the only blood vessel that is present in the insect circulatory system is this dorsal outer at the anterior end so the tubular heart has 13 chambers three chambers are located in the thorax while 10 are located in the abdominal segments you said the only blood vessel that is present in the cockroaches of circulatory system is the dorsal outer the dorsal outer empties into the head regions of the insect now each chamber contains a pair of valves at the anterior end at this anterior end that prevent backflow of blood because blood is propelled forward through the heart by waves of contractions which start from the posterior end and move toward the anterior end. So this propulsion from the posterior end pushes the blood towards the anterior end and out through the dorsal outer. In the thorax, there are branches of the vessel that take blood to the wings. So blood circulates through the open circulatory system, most of it coming out through the dorsal outer and into the body cavity. The blood circulates through the legs, into the legs and out, and eventually the blood returns to the tubular heart and enters the heart through openings. Now, each chamber has a pair of lateral opening known as ostium. Ostium is one opening and plural is they're known as ostia. So after circulation, the blood is sucked into the tubular heart through these lateral openings known as ostia. And then through waves of contraction that begin from the posterior end, blood is pumped towards the anterior, some blood branching out to the wings, most coming out through the dorsal outer into the head region and back through the thorax, abdomen, and then sucked back into the ostia. So in this way, the insect is able to transport substances from different parts of the body. So for example, as the blood flows or comes into contact with the elementary canal, it picks nutrients and takes them to the rest of the body. This flowing blood also will come into contact with the excretory structures where it passes the waste materials to the excretory structures that will then remove them from the body. 
Now, the circulatory system in the cockroach and arthropods in general has three specific functions. One is the transport of nutrients from the elementary canal to the body tissues. Also, the transport of metabolic wastes from the tissues to the excretory organs. And third, it provides defense against infections, it protects the body against pathogens that may invade the body. This is brought about by the presence of white blood cells. However, the hemolymph, that is the insect's blood, is not involved in the transportation of respiratory gases. It does not transport carbon dioxide and oxygen because the insect's blood lacks pigments, specific pigments that are involved in the transportation of respiratory gases. So unlike other animals, the circulatory system is not involved in the transport of gases. It's mainly involved in the transport of nutrients and waste materials.